Hello, this is Rick Anderson. I'm the president and owner of uh, Coaches Club Cannons. We're a fairly new business and we're here to help promote the great new sport that's around the country called black powder cannon shooting. And this is an example of one of ours. And again, these are smoothbore, which uh, as opposed to rifling that you might see in a regular gun. This is an old, kind of an old fashioned cannon. This particular one we're looking at here shoots the golf balls designed to shoot primarily golf balls. Again, you can shoot other things out of it. We can talk about that later. And our uh, particular design here, as I turn it around, uh, really is kind of an, uh, uh, we, we really like history also. This is more of a 20th century design and it's kind of copied off one of his uh, old big heavy siege howitzer type of cannons and really is kind of designed like a mortar which I'll explain later. All of our cannons are, uh, that shoot golf balls and billiard balls are all start with a piece of three and a half inch solid 1018 rod steel. They're fully CNC'd so there's no real welding other than making a pocket for this piece called the trunnion. Otherwise it's one solid piece of steel and that's to assure the strength and safety when you shoot your cannon. Inside of this there's also to help make uh, shooting more efficient. You, you, you get a, a bigger bang for less powder. They all have powder chambers also which is an extra hole sitting right back here where the fuse hole is there's a powder chamber in here that you set your powder in so that's the fuse hole in this particular cannon you can see this is kind of a double tier uh, barrel here's the breech and here is the fuse hole and with all these cannons you can see then the muzzle now this particular cannon again is 12 inches long and f kind of fits into a category of a good uh, purchase if you're just starting if you're going to go a little more than our entry level like picnic cannon the 12 inches of length gives you plenty of bang it's a real cannon but it's also a little less money and a little more compact and easier to move around so uh, <clears throat> I want you to notice also that that's sitting in this particular what we call a carriage, the thing that you put your cannon in to shoot. Now we've designed these special so that <clears throat> a lot of people ask me what's the difference between a cannon, a howitzer, and a mortar and really it has to do with uh, at what angle you're going to be shooting whatever you're going to be shooting. When we shoot in real life cannons that are meant to shoot at very high angles, those are called mortars. They have infantry style or big siege type like this represents and they're designed to shoot at a very high angle and really to go in like an enemy trench. You couldn't, you can't hit them straight on and even at an angle. So mortars are designed to go very high and drop straight down. Other types in real life uh, cannons are called howitzers. Those are designed to, it doesn't mean they can't shoot at other angles, but they're optimized to shoot at approximately 45 degrees and the idea of that is to shoot a ball or their shell as far as possible. If you want to know how far your golf ball can go, you want to set it at an angle somewhere between 37 and a half and 45 degrees. If you just set it at 45, at 45 degrees between those two angles, that's the maximum distance that uh, any object by Newton's laws can go. So to find out how far that'll go, if you want to chase the rascal down, you set it at this howitzer angle. The other angle, which is everyone's familiar with, is called line of sight or shooting it like a gun. Now a gun is, <clears throat> we're going to shoot at something we can see. When you, when you shoot like a howitzer, really, you're, in real life, it's designed to go over a hill. 
the cannoneer doesn't even see the target. They've usually got a spotter or something to see where the shell hits. Again, it's for maximum distance and kind of to go over hills. With guns, like what you put on tanks or some of our Civil War cannons, that's a cannon that's designed to shoot line of sight. Now, again, in this particular carriage, we designed this carriage, so depending on what your mood is, we can shoot this either as a mortar. Let's say we want to put in something like a smiley face ball. We don't want to shoot a golf ball. We want to shoot something that we can see and it isn't destructive. We can stuff that in there and then you can see it go straight up and everybody laughs and has fun. We can also, again, in this particular carriage, easily shoot it at that 45 and we can aim it and use it just on your rifle range target shooting as a gun where I have a target and I go to shoot it. So this carriage is also designed so that any of our barrels actually, this is called our standard carriage, which is a slightly lower uh, carriage and fits our 12 inch barrels perfectly. Now our 18 inch barrels fits in there also but what you do if you use one of the longer barrels is you're not able to point it at the, at the real high angles, but they, it works perfectly shooting it like a gun. And again, for user friendly, all you need to do to be able to move any angle is just by turning these little T-bolts where with just a, a real quick turn, you really are freezing the barrel then. And so to change angle then uh, just that quarter turn and it now moves freely again and you really want that also because here's the best loading position with the car with the cannon straight up and down this also enhances because if you have and we like you to have more than one barrel uh, it allows you to, again to easily just switch barrels also by just turning this and you can see we have a bolt on the front too and we even you can have your little hex wrench here if you want to do that, but uh, it's designed so you can really operate just off the back end with the T-bolt. By loosening it entirely, you can see we can just pivot that out and do that on both sides and you can change barrels very easy. Again, I, I really like the idea of it being very user friendly. When you buy a Coach's Club Cannon, they're basically ready to take out and shoot. Everything is done. So anyway, again, we do have a taller carriage, which we'll show you later, and it's kind of designed for the longer barrels, but the longer barrels do fit in our standard carriage also. Again, it's 12 inches long. The powder chamber is 1.25 by 2 inches long. We, let's talk about what we should put in it. What kind of powder should we put in the Coach's Club cannons? Uh, cannons. Black powder is what we recommend using in our black powder cannons. Surprisingly enough, this is brand is called GoX and it says Cannon, which is a coarse grain powder. You can use, and there's always been a question, can you use what is called substitute black powder? You can get this at any gun store or sporting goods. This uh, only some carry. But this works fine also. This particular brand is Hodgins, but there's several brands and you can ask your uh, sporting goods dealer if that's what you want. Now when we go to load our, our, our cannons, you can either measure out uh, per load, in other words if I'm going to use a little bottle here to put the powder into the barrel, you never want to uh, take a, especially a, a metal can and pour directly into the barrel. So we'll pr I'll pre-measure these so that they're really kind of ready to go. This is an ounce and a half which is recommended for our 12 inch guns and in this particular case I went ahead and loaded FFG which is a little finer grain gives you a little bigger bang for your money but again you cannot go wrong with cannon powder. So What's nice about loading your uh, black powder cannon is the simplicity of it. What the, the order of doing things is extremely simple. We pour in our powder. We take our fuse. There's our fuse hole. You just, you don't have to push it all the way through the powder chamber. 
but we push it until we feel the grain of powder in there. And we just push that in, and then we load our ball. And you can see that easily just rolls right in there. That fits, sits right on top of the powder chamber. Light the fuse, step away in the safe distance, and uh, you're ready to shoot. And that's shooting and loading your black powder cannon. Now this is true on all of the cannons, which is put in your powder, put in your fuse, put it in your projectile, whatever you're going to shoot, light the fuse and have the fun. And so again, following and we recommend strongly, really, really uh, make sure you've read all off our web, all the full package of protocols and safety process. That's on our web. Always be safe, keep safe distances. The two uh, factors for safety are always don't put things in here can create a spark or carry a heavy static charge that would pre-ignite the powder and certainly if you are going to do multiple shooting we have to make sure that there's no embers left in there so we don't pour powder on an ember and then get a pre-explosion also. Always leave at least five minutes between shots and we should clean Really, we should clean our cannons in between shots at least somewhat. What's nice about the golf ball size cannons is that just a simple bottle brush like this will go straight down into the barrel, scrape off excess powder, and believe it or not, actually with a little extra pressure go down into the powder chamber itself to help clean it out. Then you can decide if you want to uh, dump the excess powder out if you'd like. Usually we do that every two or three shots. So again, to clean it out, uh, at the very end uh, with black powder, believe it or not, just any detergent and a little water with a, a sponge brush uh, will clean out that excess powder. On our standard care, uh, cannons, they're shipped in bare metal, a nice brushed metal finish but it is not treated so we ship it we have a light coat of oil on it when you get done shooting make sure that you have a light coat of oil in the in the barrel and on our cannon to protect against rust now we do have uh, uh, custom finishes in paint decal bluing that you can do also some of these you can do yourself if you want to paint your cannon but our standard cannons are in this and Believe it or not, the majority of people just like this nice brush steel look. And that's what, that's what you would get if you just ordered that. So this little package here of the 16 inch siege mortar in golf ball size and this standard carriage is a perfect, perfect, uh, very reasonably cost uh, choice if you're wanting to get into this wonderful sport of black powder cannon shooting.